All right, hello everyone, Theodore Burns here again for week number nine of Formula Sprint Lap Walkthrough. This week we're at Suzuka Circuit on the short east course. Uh, so this week I ran a 44.863 in an official practice session uh, earlier tonight. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a ride around here for that lap. All right, and so there we have it one time around. So, I guess it's uh, probably easiest here to split this up into the two sectors on track, which is basically the first corner and all of the S's through to the end. So, let's start off coming up to the first corner. All right, so uh, idea here in the first corner is once you get the tires up to temperature, you want to drive in really deep and all the way down onto the first apex here on in the corner onto the onto the curbing on the right hand side. So that's uh, keeping it full throttle, driving all the way down onto the curbing. Finally lift, lifting off once I, once I actually get to the curbing, I'm gonna hit the brake once I get to the apex there. And so it's uh, kind of tricky uh, to, with, with the wheel here because I wanna keep turning the car, but I wanna be able to get all my braking done. So you'll see I'll, I'll kind of uh, straighten it up a little bit, add a little bit more brake force, and I'm gonna come all the way down here to third gear for, for the corner. So it's uh, ideal to carry a lot of trail brake here and get the car really rotated down. You really want to try and hit the second apex here and get the car up onto the curbing uh, in, the, in the second portion of the right-hand corner here in order to get the best run out, get the car completely rotated. See, so once I actually get the car down here onto the curb, I can start to get on throttle. And I'll start to ease into it nice and easy until I get the car all the way rotated through. And you can use a bit of the curbing actually to help rotate the car, but you want to be careful not to use a little bit too much. And then from there, it's uh, flat out and a nice easy track out without having to worry about uh, getting over there onto the curbing onto the onto the exit. So again, that's uh, keeping it nice and tight onto those two corner uh, two apex curbs there uh, for the best lap time. So let's uh, play through this one more time, real speed. All right, and that was sector one. Now, sector two, all of the S's. Uh, I think it's easiest just to go through all these in one go, and then we can wa watch back through it again in real time. So, uh, the kind of ideology I like, to, I like to take into these is I want to try and drive into them as hard as possible, uh, but get the car completely rotated with the, the shortest um, radius in the corner, and then get back on throttle as soon as possible. So it's a, a little bit easier said than done, especially the driving in deep part. So you'll see here for the first one, I actually drive in pretty far and actually stay mostly on throttle, trying to get the car uh, up onto the curbing as much as possible. So as you can see, I'm using all of the curbing here, getting the left side tires up onto the green uh, upper curb. And, uh, and back on full throttle here. I, I stay in fifth gear through that corner, but getting up here to to the first of the right-hand corners in the S's, I need to use a little bit of trail brake and actually come back down to fourth gear uh, so that I can get a better run out of here, high, higher in the RPM range. And, and note, notice how I've, I've driven in really deep on full throttle, and I've had to use that little bit of brake to get the car down uh, to the curbing, but uh, I've let the car rotate by just coasting around the corner. Now, now once I've gotten more to the exit of the corner, I can start to ease back into the throttle. You see, again, it's a very nice ease, and then I uh, get back into the full throttle. Now, I want to try and keep full throttle as I transition my hands into the next left-hand corner here. And this is where I try and drive deep into the corner. And so once I have gotten the car pointed in, I've gotten a nice trajectory, that's when I actually lift out of the throttle. 
Uh, I can try using a little bit of trail brake here. I find you don't uh, really need to. Just kind of rest the foot on the brake pedal. Uh, don't need to use a whole lot, if, if any. Uh, mostly just coasting here as I, as I get the car to rotate and try and keep it as tight to this curb as possible. Again, now once I've gotten the car rotated most of the way through the corner, I can start to ease back into the throttle. It's not aggressive into it, but it's a uh, smooth uh, transition into full throttle. Now again, try and keep it full throttle as I transition the hands into the next right-hand corner. Now this one is a, uh, it, it kind of opens up here and it, it's a much uh, longer corner. So I can drive this one in a little bit deeper than, uh, than I did the, the last left hand corner. But now it's completely out of throttle, trying to get the car to rotate all the way up there onto the curbing. And, it's, and it seems like, uh, like an eternity now that I've uh, waited to try and get back on throttle because I just have to, have to wait even longer because I, I want to try and end up about mid-track here on, on exit. So if I get on throttle too soon, I'm going to be tracking out too far and I'm going to be scrubbing a lot of speed trying to uh, transition and turn back. Uh, so again, it's waiting what feels like an eternity here before you actually do get back on throttle. And see, it's almost entirely through the corner before I start to ease back into it. And I'm still riding that, that curb on the, uh, on the right-hand side. The right side tire is uh, completely completely on the curb there. But I get back on full throttle here as I get to the exit, uh, keeping the wheel turned, and again I try and exit about mid-track right here. And uh, Now it's still going to be full throttle through the transition again into the left-hand corner as I turn the hands all the way in. And now this one's uh, this left-hand corner is a little bit tricky because we do have uh, the switch back to the right that makes it the east short course uh, coming up here. If it was full course, we could just probably keep it full throttle out of here, no problem. But uh, we want to try and set up well for the for the for the right-hand corner there. So I'm going to end up lifting out a little bit here mid corner to try and stay as far track left as possible uh, com coming out of here. So see, I get down almost completely out of the throttle, but not not quite, and uh, ease ease back into it so I can pick up a little bit more speed here as on my approach into into the right hand corner, back up to the full speed as I as I transition my hands back straight. Now it's really important to try and find this curbing right here on uh, to to start the uh, transition onto the access road for the short course as soon as possible because this is going to be uh, our uh, you know our uh, turning point. We want to uh, stay as tight on this as possible. So once I've gotten the car straight and I can see that now is when I hit the brakes. And so I'm going to come down uh, third gear and actually down down to second gear. And I want to try and drive this in as, as deep as possible over here onto the curbing on the left-hand side. You'll see I'll actually kind of straighten my hands out, get a little bit of throttle to try and uh, keep, keep my minimum speed up here in the corner. But I have to get back out of throttle as soon as I, I get to the curbing here because I have to get the car rotated. And if uh, with the downhill uh, uh, loss, of, loss of the track here, the front tires really scrub out and will end up uh, going a little bit too wide and not able to get it back onto the straightaway. So we ha have to have this lift here, but we want to start it as far to the left-hand side of the track as possible, as close to this curb as possible. So that's why if you can get uh, that, that brake zone, you know, wait that little bit to get all the way down to second gear and drive all the way into this curbing and then get the car rotated. That's, that's the ideal uh, line ideology coming uh, into this switch back here. Now it's uh, second gear, get it rotated, come as far down the hill as, as you can, and then try try and wait for the you know, last possible second to get into that throttle so you don't go too wide. But you want to get on throttle as soon as possible because you have the long straight afterwards. So it's kind of a uh, you know back and forth game. It, it takes a bit of time until you learn um, uh, catch on here at the track how much the car is actually rotated, how uh, how soon you can actually get on throttle. And again, it's another, another smooth application as I ease into it. I try and keep it as tight as possible. Now, you have to be really careful uh, coming up to the grass here, uh, not not to get too much uh, of the car over the grass, otherwise you'll pick up a 1x. So on this particular lap, is uh, right down the center line of the car here, which uh, did not pick up a 1x. This is a clean lap coming through here. Uh, but try and clip those right side tires right onto the grass. But uh, like I said, if you're any more over than that, it will be a 1x. Uh, so I was a little surprised. Didn't pick one up there. Uh, but but again, you want to get as close to that as possible, clipping the right side tires onto that grass. And it's still not quite full throttle because I'm still not completely confident I'm gonna I'm gonna make the corner here. Uh, keeping a lot a lot of uh, a lot of steering lock in, and now I can finally get get in the full throttle and start to ease out of the out of my steering angle as I track out. Uh, to the far left-hand side of the track and back across the line. So I know that was a lot there uh, in the slow-mo for the entire S's portion, so let's try and play back through that in 
one more time in real speed and trying to focus on that, uh, you know, fast in and let the car rotate and then fast out again. There you have a 44.863 lap around Suzuka East Course. Uh, so again, it's uh, just being extremely uh, gentle, very patient on the throttle, letting that car rotate, uh, I think are the keys to a fast lap time around Suzuka this week. Uh, so as always, uh, uh, feel free to leave any comments, questions, and I look forward to seeing you guys out there on track. Thanks for watching.